But let this be known. You see the I in front of love you and the I in front of miss you. It is very, very important in our relationship. You understand me? I try to say. Don't text your partner phone. Both no miss you. Don't text your partner phone. Both no love you. That is rubbish. No seasoning not upon that. You need to text your partner and be proud of it and say, I miss you and I love you. Do not leave the eye off it. You understand me? I try to say, when you leave the eye off it, you come like you start cheating on it. I saw we, I saw we crazy and we think all kind of craziness. You know, you know, if you understand, we've been hurt before. I don't know who needs to hear this. But. Uh, I, I don't, I, I don't know. That much. I don't know about the wee part. <laughs> when him say we. Man we, say you have to understand we've been hurt before. No, well, what I, is happening? I, I don't sir? know about we. Well, we've been hurt before, but I don't know if I totally agree with it. I do agree that you must put the eye. Um, before I do agree. Um, I'm not certain if I would be absolutely annoyed if you didn't, but I, I kind of think it makes a difference. So this you is. No, I've never he said, thought she about said, this before. Yeah, I've, I've thought about it all the while. I think when you put, so to, so I think when you put love you and miss you, it's almost generic. It's almost like a, a little, you know what I mean? Like you're talking to your, 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 your brethren or sisterin, as opposed to your. Um, I, I, I but think if, it's if I'm the one telling you, saying the words, then it's coming from me. But I still think it's a little it could generic. be that love you if it's not me. No, no, I'm, I'm not saying you don't. But I, may I try to play devil's advocate? No, I, I just Jeez, no, but me never type Jesus love you, sir. Yeah. If I'm if I'm talking to you and I say okay, so talk to you later, love you. Is that different from? Okay, talk to you later. I know. Yes, yeah, it's true. I There's a difference. So. Actually, I think so. Even and though I, I can say it out of my mouth. Yeah, and I think even it the, feel more personal. Yeah, and I, I was just gonna say that. I think even when you say love you and you genuinely love that person, it's more like a little family thing that as opposed to. Um, uh, I think so. Uh, so I say I love you. I say I miss you. The other thing I don't say is if someone says I love you, I don't say I love you too. I just say I love you. Because the two almost sound like it's just true. You tell me, say you love me. Why me? I tell you, say I love you. You know, um, not necessarily. Don't get me wrong. Not necessarily. But that's how it feels to me personally. Um, so I, I, and I, and I agree with Simino. You can say love you, and you genuinely mean say you love the person. I agree with that. But I think it's a little bit more personal when you put the eye. What about if you say love you, babe? Yeah. I mean, that, that's what I say. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I just think it's more personal when you put the eye before it. I don't have anything wrong with it, you know? Hmm? Yeah, wow. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where Clive say? Clive say, if you text somebody, I say, I love you, and them say, thanks. <laughs> well, that's only me, them don't love you. <laughs> Correct. Back. What do you want them to say? I really don't love you, but instead of saying, I don't love you, I'm just going to say, thanks. Or them just no, say, well, you, you, say, just... you say, true, you say, me, you love me. Yeah, I'm going to say to what me don't, don't say, really what me mean. really mean. Right. That, that, no. Say, thanks. No. No. <laughs> okay, so let's hear this justification. Source is the medium.com. Um, it says there's no denying that there's an all-powerful meaning to love. It is a feeling and an emotion we naturally crave as social human beings. The phrase, I love you, justifies the involvement of you and the other person. It not only means that there is love for you, but it also means that the love for you is from me creating emotional intimacy, which is what Sims kind of said. By starting with the I phrase, <laughs> I'm yeah, not sure. Yeah. Though, By starting with the phrase, I know you were saying that if it's coming from you, yeah, even if it doesn't inherently, love you, yeah, right. it's from you, which is why I said something <laughs> like what you said. By starting with the phrase, by starting the phrase with I, you take ownership and affirm your feelings of love. You create a deeply emotional tie between you and the other person you are saying it to. The message you send esteems clear intent, and that in itself is so powerful. I love you also comes from a deep and genuine place in your heart. I agree with that. But, I, and again, I, it might be almost contradictory, but I do agree with Simone also. That Colson, come out <laughs> of my ear. <laughs> I'm telling you, I love you. Yes. But, I knew but, that a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, but hey boy, don't play with me. All right? Don't play with me. 
But you love Colson too, don't I, you? No, I, I know you love me. You just say I love you too. That's <laughs> so it don't work for me. You just say I love you. Which means what? You know Why what do you though? You know what though, Colson and Sarah? People use the phrase too, too lightly though. You know, we throw it around. It's a very, very important phrase and you really ought not to play with it unless you really, truly mean it because if you don't, or if you say it out of your, but your actions are misaligned, then you tell a lie. Yeah. Even though I guess it's possible to love, no, nope, it's yeah. not possible to love somebody and treat them badly. I don't, I don't think so. Nope. So I, I love you, I guess would be a little more weighty than love you um and how would you say it i love you or i love you because you could have loved somebody else oh. so depending on where you put the emphasis and as Lots much of as much as sim, what to sim just said about the phrase being used and almost in a light way sometimes i think there are um different degrees of love so how you love your your girlfriend, your wife is probably... And I probably agree is that, that, has, that has different, you have eros, you have a gap, no, you have God's love, yeah, you have passionate love. No, no, love, the same thing, have, thing that, that's no, not degrees. degree that, that's a category. Yeah, well... Degrees of love is... Category. You know, say, I really like, I, I, I love, I think I love that girl. No, what oh, I whoa, meant, no. I, I love her. No, whoa, what, no. I really no, love what her. I Those meant, are degrees no, of love. No, what I meant is that, well, that's what I'm saying, actually. What I meant is that I might have a little sister who I love, but I don't love her the same way who I love my girlfriend yeah, or my wife. Yeah, but that is platonic love. I think well, this, in this but No, I, I about still use the word degree because it's a, it's a difference. To me, it's a difference, which is what I'm trying to get at. Um, so Clive, I'm a virgin, I love Clive. And I do love Clive, but I don't love him the same way as I love my lady. I don't love him the same way I love my daughter. Degrees, never barely. It, in my opinion, it is my sweetheart. I'm just saying, that's what I call degrees. Now, you might have a different word different for types. it. You might have a different word for different it. Different types I'm, have degrees. So I, I am could using be a virgin, but Coulson is your virgin virgin. So that's a different degree of variation. Yeah, well, that's what I said, but that's my word. So maybe right, your so word is different, but that, that's my word. So there, I mean, I, there's, a, there's a different love for my daughter, a different love for my mother, a different love for my brother. Um, so there are differences in how you feel about people. Kay is asking uh, if you feel pressure to say I love you. Me? No, man. I say that every single day about same. 40 million times. Same, same, same. Every single time I speak with someone who is very special to me, at the end, I put I love you. Every single time. So if I talk to my daughter 10 times for the day, the 10 times... Cousin, cousin. I, I love you. Where cousin say no? He, uh, he, he's just opened the earpiece. I don't know what he's going to say, but just don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> he just said that Simone has never told him that she loves him. And if she said that, you know, is she and Smiley is tomorrow morning working. <laughs> no, yeah, you have a radio face. You can't come out here. <laughs> wow. You can't come That's out here. So our here. love works, folks. No, but I in don't... a very serious way. I don't feel pressured. Truly, no. guys, though, let me tell you something. Life is so short. Gosh, Coulson, come out of my ear. That if you love somebody, you really ought to let them know. And I mean, if whether it's platonic love, whether it's, well, agape is God's love, but if it's, if it's air of passionate love and you feel it, even if you think it will be unrequited, if you feel like you need to get it off yeah. your chest, Coulson, don't open yeah. the envy. <laughs> get it off your chest. Yeah. I was saying before Coulson, interrupted us that if I speak with my daughter 10 times for the day I say I love you 10 times mm -hmm. um, 10 times for the day mm -hmm. so um, I, I have no issue saying that and, um, and I it's feel nice to say I feel that and it's I'm, nice to hear I feel that I'm genuine when I say that I, I don't just throw it out and say yeah mom I love you man and call somebody to me so because you're a loving person I am actually I am actually I think so um, and by the way I love you me know thanks <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>